What's up guys, today um, is the last kind of this video you will ever see on this channel. I want to address some of the questions and comments and messages that have come up over the past few weeks and months and I want to go uh, straight ahead and, and right off the bat let you know this video is not going to contain any drama. This video is not going to contain any gossip. So if you're looking for chismes, this is this is not the video. This is not intended for my test. This is just a one-on-one -on -one, um, between me and you. Me answering a few of the questions that have come up in the past. Me addressing a few of the things. And I, I guess, to be quite honest, this is more for me than it is for you. <laughs> because there's a few things that... And there's a few things that I need to get off my chest and this is kind of kind of going to be for you like opening up my journal so there's a few things that quite frankly aren't that easy to talk about <clears throat> I'm sitting in the air conditioned uh, condo and I'm breaking out in a sweat sorry I had to step away from the camera just to compose myself and what I wanted to say early on is um, so far, I, or in the past few months, I didn't feel like I had the mental capacity or clarity to film a video of this sort because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be sitting here in front of the camera wailing my eyes out looking for sympathy. That's not what this is about. What this is about is to talk about some of the questions that are out there and some of the comments that are out there concerning the breakup with, um, with Nelly. And for the longest time, I didn't even want to make this video. I didn't intend on making this video, but there's just a few things that happened that I do feel like I need to address. I think a lot of you are still kind of battling with understanding why Nelly and I broke up. I feel, and, and, and I know Nelly feels the same way, that the information or the background that we did give you should have been enough. Um, it was a very intimate glimpse into our lives, uh, but... For many out there, it, it doesn't seem to be enough or some people think they have the right to um, look deeper into our lives. And at, at this point, honestly, uh, I just want to get all of this behind me and move on with my life. So I'm just going to address a few of the issues that maybe weren't as easy to talk about back then, but maybe are a little bit easier to talk about now. Let's start with the reason for the breakup. Nelly and I told you guys that over the past a uh, few months, I'd say a year, we started growing apart and there were many reasons why this, this happened. Some of the reasons definitely have to do with Nelly and I just as, as people, just because we both are very strong, opinionated personalities and that would cause or that would lead to certain clashes. But I think the underlying reason or the main reason was just things that had to do with mental health and certain stresses that we had in the past year or so. Some of those stresses were, of course, the pandemic. I mean, a lot of people did break up during the pandemic. I feel like, in a sense, the pandemic brought Nelly and I closer together, but at the same time, it ripped us apart just because during the pandemic, we had, we'd left certain mental health issues unchecked or we didn't address them or we didn't address them properly. And that led to us growing apart. We were under a lot of stress last year, like around September when we were going through this whole visa process to get our permanent residency visa. Um, it was it was quite stressful because for a long period of time we didn't even have our passports. I'm talking for like three or four months. We we couldn't go anywhere. We were in, in, we were in the visa uh, process phase and our visas were with the government. Our passports were with the government and basically we, we couldn't travel anywhere we were pretty much confined to the place that we were in which you know we love the Philippines and we love our home here um, but for us we would always seek travel or seek traveling somewhere to get more mental clarity and to get peace of mind so uh, traveling um, and exploring new destinations kind of was our own mental health therapy. It was our, 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 yeah, it was our therapy. It used to help us a lot and just not being able to do so and 
not quite knowing, you know, what's the status with our visa? Are we going to get approved? Are we not going to get approved? It was a, a very long and tedious process and it, it took a lot. It took a toll on us, definitely. And just being in this pandemic at the same time, it, it caused a lot of arguments and troubles between Nelly and I. And for certain things, we started resenting each other. And uh, it's, it's just a big part of, of why we eventually decided to separate. Another big reason, and this is something that we haven't spoken on on the vlog for a very long time, over two years. We haven't spoken about this over, over two years, but throughout the whole pandemic, we mentioned this before the pandemic one time that Nelly and I have this person that stalks and harasses us for no reason whatsoever. He's been doing it for two years nonstop. It goes to extents that he, uh, you know, if he'd see us at a restaurant or staying at a hotel and he would immediately message the hotel and put out these slanderous messages uh, telling ridiculous lies and just really frustrating. And he wouldn't just do it with businesses. He would do it with people. We'd meet people and they'd be on our Instagram stories. He'd message those people and tell all these weird things about us that are absolutely not true. And it went to an extent where he started making profiles on social media in our names and started bad-mouthing uh, politicians in the Philippines. He'd make profiles in politicians' names and would write negative things about us. Really, really weird. And it, it has been, it, it definitely took a toll on us as well, especially Nelly. She was very, very upset by what this person had been doing to us for so, such a long time. We just reacted to it differently. And, you know, but yeah, it definitely it caused so much anxiety with, with Nelly. And of course, for me as well, just because this person didn't stop, has not, has not stopped up until now. And at least finally now we have good legal representation and we will take action very soon and hopefully that will bring an end to this whole thing, this whole nightmare. And I know he's he's been harassing other people as well. He's been harassing George and Lucy. He's been harassing, you know, other... He, he, he just tends to attack creators, influencers for no reason. Probably jealousy, I'm guessing. Anyway, the, the chickens are coming to roost for him, so he'll carry the consequences for, for what he has done. Anyway, um, it's in the past. It's still dragging on into the present. He, he still does it, so I can't even say it's in the past, but... In terms of Nelly and our relationship and my relationship, it's in the past. And then, of course, the pressure of, of being in the public eye. There would be situations where Nelly and I would be in an argument um, and we would be in public. And it, it's just not easy. It's, it's, it's not easy to, to be so exposed as a couple. And there's really nobody that we can blame for that besides ourselves. I mean, we, we put our content out there every day and we kind of give you guys a glimpse into our lives and, and you know, 99.9% .9 of you out there are so amazing and we, we, we love you guys and we appreciate you guys. But there's a small percentage or a fraction of a percentage that just believe that they have the right to see more of our lives or have more insight into our lives, which they don't. But yeah, that also caused anxiety and pressure, and especially when the relationship was in a in a tough place, it, it wouldn't make things easier for us. You know, this whole thing, it's been going, going on. I mean, we're in October now. It all started around, I want to say, July, August last year, where we started, you know, battling and we started not feeling safe if that's the right word to say, not feeling, not feeling the way you should feel in a relationship that's, that's headed towards marriage. All of these things led up to just some really, really tough conversations, some very rough conversations. It led to us deciding to, you know, to take a break, to do a, a trial separation, which ultimately led to the breakup. And that whole thing was really not easy for any of us. It was definitely incredibly tough for Nelly and it was incredibly tough for me because within such a short time period both of us literally lost everything and and all the And all the, the great plans that we had for the future and the last 14 years just came to an end very abruptly. And it was, it was rough. It was really rough. 
Uh, what I can say for sure is Nelly and I did not break up because of the person that I'm seeing now. We, I met the person I'm seeing now after the breakup. She had nothing to do with it. And the reason for the breakup was, and you know, hopefully this can help some of you out there. It comes because there were certain uh, mental health issues and anxiety issues and stress issues that were not addressed properly at the root um, or were ignored for a prolonged time and it just festered and grew and led to us growing apart. So if you feel like you're in a situation where uh, you might be feeling something similar, um, talk to your partner, talk to your spouse, see a therapist together before it's too late. What really hurt me is to see that the, the 14 years of integrity and love that I showed Nelly, kind of in the public, to many of you guys, it just lost its value completely. You guys seem to have gotten in your head that I broke up with Nelly, uh, that I just left Nelly, which is not the case. We decided to do a trial separation. Uh, we saw each other again after a while with the intent to work it out, but realized after one or two days that we just feel better apart than we do together. And we were very uh, grown up about it. We were very mature about it. We talked about it as friends, as close friends, and just made the decision to not pursue it anymore, to not go any further, to not put us through that stress. And you guys need to know that things aren't always what they seem like people in front of the camera are different than people behind the cameras. I don't like crying in front of camera. I turned off the camera five times so far in this video. But yeah, Nelly is 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 faster to shed tears for her. It's more like a normal thing to she'll she'll cry easily when she's when there's something that makes her very happy. She'll cry easily when there's something that makes her very sad. But in that video it looked like I didn't care at all. Um which couldn't be further from the truth. Um over the past few months before and after the breakup there were barely any days where i didn't break down and cry just a lot of things small things like seeing a photo or hearing a song would trigger certain emotions very fast and one of the toughest things is like this i'm sweating <laughs> one of the toughest things was going through this whole process, going through this whole breakup and then constantly being reminded of it by notifications on my phone. Where is Nelly? Why is Nelly not in the vlog? Why, where is, why is Nelly not doing this? Why are you going here without Nelly? You know, and it would just be constantly and for me it was very important to take over the responsibility of this channel to, you know, publish content by myself so Nelly wouldn't have to stress about that. Yeah, it was just very, it was very tough to constantly have to read messages like that. And during those times, there were a lot of things that I was, that I was going through. Uh, I feel that for quite a few months, I was very depressed. I'd have trouble getting up in the morning. So sometimes I'd just lay in bed till like lunchtime, one o'clock, just not willing to get up. Um, which I guess in a sense is a luxury that I, I can do that in, in my in my job. It took me a long time to to get over it and, I, and one of the toughest things for me and, and this is this is actually something that Nelly and I did speak about. We said I said to Nelly look at the end of the day I'm going to be treated like the bad guy um, because that's just the way society works. People are quick to jump on the train to say like, oh, it's his fault, he did something, he did that, he did this. And, and I said, I, you know, we, we, it's funny, we spoke about it. We knew this was gonna happen. And yet still it took me by surprise that it did happen. And it's just kind of the, this, this feeling, this emotion of abandonment that really hurt um, because I didn't just feel it here within the community, I also felt it with you know friends or business partners uh, because you, you you just notice it that friends stop messaging you friends don't check in how are you doing and it's usually the guy that gets left behind <laughs> uh, it's usually everybody tries to everybody rushes to uh, help the the woman in the relationship and the guy just gets dropped and it it hurts it does hurt the, to have that feeling of abandonment it's it's tough and what also is very tough is the the, the time between 
the actual breakup and us announcing the breakup, which were several months. Um, because during those months, Nelly was in Bali, but I was still here in, in the Philippines, you know, taking care of things, taking care of the vlog, taking care of business. And that feeling of being alone, you know, also not having the backup from friends and also not really being able to move on because we hadn't announced the breakup. Um, I couldn't just, you know, go out on, on dates or, or meet people or it just it just wasn't easy. And the reason why I said in the Q&A uh, that I'm not dating, that I'm not on the dating scene is because I am I'm not actively going out on dates. I'm seeing somebody, seeing this person, meeting this person actually was the point where my life took a turn to a better. Um, and led to me not being depressed anymore. So, yeah. And yeah, I, I don't want it to sound like I'm, I'm bashing Nelly here. I'm, I'm not bashing Nelly at all. I'm, I was very, very happy that she went to Bali and that she got to hang out with our friends. She got to spend time with, you know, new people that she met. And, you know, seeing her happy on her Instagram stories meant a lot to me. Um, just because I knew in that moment she would have uh, peace of mind uh, and those moments where she would be with people, she wouldn't uh, be feeling like, yeah, she wouldn't be feeling the, the hurt. And yes, I, I get this question a lot. I get asked, you know, where is Nelly? Are you living in the condo together right now? So Nelly has spent the majority of the past few months in Bali. I was in Bali as well for I think three or four weeks in between, but yeah, Nelly is in Bali and I'm I'm really happy to see that she's you know she's building something for herself she has her channel Nelly's life and she has this new project that she's working on teaching people how to uh, become youtubers um, when we broke up of course the big topic was you know what happens to the channel and making it happen vlog is a channel that initially I started it was in 2015 and for the first uh, two or three years of the channel um, it was almost exclusively me um, creating content for the channel. The channel has over 1,500 videos on it. 95% of those videos were, you know, edited by me. <laughs> and um, I've basically invested the past eight years of my life in, in building this community. And of course, Nelly was a huge part of it. Nelly um, also invested a lot of heart and soul um, but to get messages like people telling me you should delete this channel and start a new channel, it's it's hurtful to read um, because I have always been incredibly passionate about this channel and I've been incredibly passionate about the community and I've put all of my heart and soul behind this channel. So to see messages like that um, were of course very hurtful. I feel like Nelly and I found a, a good solution. Nelly took over the WhatsApp Philippines channel to do reaction videos because she had invested more time in, into that channel than I had. And I took over making it happen vlog just because it's the channel that I originally started. And through, you know, all those, those really, really rough and tough years uh, making it juicy on the road. I mean, all of those videos were filmed and edited by me just because I was the faster editor. I had the know-how and Ellie didn't know how to edit videos back then yet. In terms of um, the condos, we have, we own the condos together. It's, 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 it's fair. Um, we bought the condos with money that we made over the past few years. And uh, of course, these places are financed as well. So, you know, we split up the payments. I'm living in this condo at the moment. So I'm paying more for this place. And the other place is going to be a really, really cool project that we're still doing together, the Airbnb. There's actually an Instagram link to that Airbnb. Uh, there's an Instagram page where you can follow the Airbnb and you can get updates when it's going to be available. It should be in November. So it's, it's really excited. In terms of Peanut, Peanut is here with me whenever Nelly is in the Philippines. She likes to take care of Peanut. Um, and yeah, whenever I'm traveling, I have a great babysitter that uh, actually is a uh, the best friend of my girlfriend. Uh, and she takes care of Peanut. And, yeah, my, my girlfriend is the next thing that I wanted to talk about. So I met my girlfriend after the breakup with Nelly. Nelly knew f about her from the beginning and um, I've spoken to Nelly a lot about her as well. I just feel that, especially, you know, recently, um, and I spoke to Nelly about this, I said to Nelly, I do not want to um, hide the fact anymore 
from this community that I'm seeing someone just because I, I saw my own videos and I was awkward because she would be close by and I'd kind of try and hide her out of the camera because you know it wasn't I didn't want to make it public yet I wasn't ready and I just couldn't be myself on camera because of that um, and you know I've, I've been seeing a lot of comments where people are attacking me for seeing someone and I, I don't want to see any negative comments about her because she had nothing to do with the breakup we met after the breakup she's this amazing person that has really helped me have a positive outlook on life again and she makes me happy so that's all that counts for me and at the same time i'm excited again i'm excited again for the future i'm excited for some very cool projects that i'm currently working on for for you guys um there's a a big big project that i'm currently or that i have started that will require me to travel to every province of the philippines within the next 12 months so really really exciting i can't wait to create content around that for you guys and can't wait to show you the actual the actual product of this project um if you want to take a guess in the comments down below feel free to i'd like to see what you guys think it is um so i'm very excited that for that um i'm relaunching the entire membership program memberships is being overhauled there's going to be membership giveaways there's going to be special discounts at you know partners that we have here in the philippines and internationally um so the membership is going to be amazing uh, if you want to become a member you can do so um right now uh, so all members that are members now will benefit from all of the things that are going to be added to the membership program over the next few weeks and it's going to be yeah it's going to be cool and then the next thing is because nelly's taken over the whatsapp philippines reaction channel i'm going to start another reaction channel just because i did really enjoy uh filming reaction videos i did enjoy reacting to videos that you guys sent me and i kind of miss it and i want to do it again uh, if you have any suggestions what i should call the channel let me know in the comments down below and uh, i'll think about it but yeah you'll be seeing that reaction channel very soon i'll be updating you soon on the big project and and uh, and then obviously like the relaunch of the membership program but this is it i needed to get this off my chest i needed to share this with you guys i can't believe it i made it through this video without an absolute mental breakdown uh, i only had to stop the camera two or three times but yeah i hope that clears up any questions that you did have um you know everybody that's that stayed and supported me here on this channel thank you so much i really appreciate it everybody that has respected my privacy that has respected nelly's privacy thank you so much god bless you um and let's move on let's move on to the future let's explore this beautiful country together let's make memories together let's make it happen and with that being said i'll see you guys tomorrow